The signing of the U.S. Constitution on September 17, 1787 by the Founding Fathers is one of the most important and influential events in American history. Since 1952, citizenship has been celebrated on September 17 in commemoration of the formation and signing of the Constitution of the United States. In order to observe Constitution Day and promote citizenship, Gateway Community and Technical College of Northern Kentucky asked its students, what aspect of the United States Constitution do you believe to be the most valuable? First Amendment. I feel the Second Amendment. I believe in the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is valuable as the Fourth Amendment. Be the Fourth Amendment. Sixth Amendment. Fourth right. right. Will be the Fifteenth Amendment. Nineteenth Amendment. Article Five of the U.S. Constitution. For the Constitution that I find most valuable is the Fourth Amendment, which protects all individuals from any unlawful searches and seizures. It's important to me because I highly value my privacy and can't imagine living in a country where your property and effects can be invaded by the police or government at any time without a probable cause for a search warrant. To me, the most important right would be the 15th Amendment, the right to vote. To me, all the other rights are important, but the most important part is the right to vote because it gives you the power to uh, declare your voice and to change or alter any of the other rights that is listed. And without that, anything can be taken away or changed. I believe the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, is one of the most important of the 27 amendments. It is important to me because it gives me comfort to know that if somebody were to break into my, my home with a weapon and threaten the lives of my family or myself, that I would have the right to then defend myself and my family against that person. I picked the First Amendment because our, our rights have, in the Constitution can be infringed upon. And the freedom of religion, speech, assembly, and politics is a, a right that we all should enjoy. The best attribute about the Constitution is Article 5, the ability to change the Constitution with a two-thirds Congress vote or a three-fourths state legislator vote. Without this, America would be far different. For starters, if you were not white, male, 21 or older, you would not be able to vote. We would have slaves, a three-fifths rule, and no Bill of Rights and all that implies. I, for one, am glad that our forefathers had the foresight to understand that governments must evolve just as societies evolved or be doomed to failure. Without change, something, can, something sleeps inside of us that seldom awakens. This particular amendment is still very much a part of the everyday Americans' mindset and what they hold sacred and that is that a person's home and body should be free from unwarranted searches and seizures by the government. The Fourth Amendment actually does two things. One, it prohibits unreasonable searches and arrests, and two, it establishes requirements for warrants. Initially, the amendment was only restricted to the federal government. However, in 1914, the Supreme Court uh, used the 14th Amendment to extend those protections to, against, the, uh, against uh, state and local government. The 19th Amendment, um, this amendment gave women the right to vote. Um, I believe it helped in the process of letting women run for political office. The Second Amendment reads as follows. A well-regulated militia begins necessary to the security of a free state. The right of people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is the most important amendment of all in my eyes. The reason I believe this amendment is so important is because the right to bear arms is what America was founded on. I'm speaking on the Sixth Amendment. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial. This, to me, is one of the most important parts of the Constitution in this day and age uh, due to jails and prisons being more overcrowded than ever. I think Article 5 of the U.S. Constitution exhibits both brilliance and excellence. Um, essentially, when the document was written, the, the founders provided a way for us to uh, make amendments and uh, the process for doing so. Uh, essentially, they were saying that we're not too good to know that we're going to need change and development.